Amen. Hmm. Wonderful God, we bless your name, Jesus. Amen. Are you are you are you blessed today? Amen. For the fourth section of prayers. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Everybody's alive today. Amen. Hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Shout this prayer, Lord Claire. Say, my father, my father. <laughs> Are you ready to pray? Every time you begin to feel an attack, in spite of your work with God, in spite of your holiness, in spite of the place you are, the Bible says, the devil came like a flood in the night. Amen. But God raised the standard. But when the enemy begins to come like a flood in the night, you want your least expect. Because the Bible says that Jesus just finished the crusade. A mighty revival, and he was on the way, instructed by the Holy Ghost. Amen. To go over to the other side, to go meet the garment that is suffered, attacked at the gatherings. Amen. This man was severely oppressed. But the Bible says that Jehovah had just conducted a major crusade. He was tired. While resting, the enemy arranged a storm. The enemy began to orchestrate an attack in the middle of the time. Can somebody hear me? Somebody hearing me today? Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. So there was a crazy, there was a crazy orchestrated attack against Jesus, against his disciples. These are men who have brought Jesus to a city, who the whole city were fed by food, food. Amen. The, 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 God manifested his miracles financially, manifested provision, amen, on the mountain. Why do we go on the other side? You will expect that after such miracles, that God will single handedly protect them. We secure them. We protect them from every form of danger. But that was a lie. Amen. Why that was happening, amen. The devil too was orchestrating his backlash, his attack. How dare you feed my people with supernatural food? How dare you bless my people on the mountain? How dare you feed them the word of God? How dare you liberate and deliver them? How dare you? And why Jesus was sleeping? something happened. Why the disciples were relaxing. Amen. Why the disciples were focused on other things. Something happened. His tongue arose. You're going to pray today. Some of us have gone through major revival. Some of us have experienced the mountaintop. Some of us have experienced the provision of God. Where God says, and I prepare the table before me. Many tables have been prepared in this season. Even before your enemies. Amen. But the enemy is arranging some orchestrated scientific storm. The enemy is preparing a storm against your life. You today you're going to pray this morning and you're going to cry with all the facility you can cry because Jesus cried out, He says, Storm, peace be still. You're going to pray. Say, Every storm designed against my life, hallelujah. I will say it again. Say, Every storm designed against my life. This storm is a spirit of backlash. Somebody say backlash. Hallelujah. See, every storm designed from the pit of hell. Against my life and my family. By the blood of Jesus. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. strange wicked storm be scattered scatter by fire open your mouth and fire prayer every storm designed against my life Izokete berikataya regede rebebe kapa libranta brundu sambahatia Lord will scatter every storm every storm arising against my life every storm from the pit of hell I break your power today irregazaba irregazanda bahaya ilabranda rebebe kapaya irregada rebebe kapanda rebebe kapaya ilagazonda rebebea irregada rebebe kapanda rebebe kapanda ilagazonda rebebe katelimia ilagarando rebebea baradia irregada rebebe kapanda rebebe kapanda Ragadarabe, Rebecca, 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 R
Bia, Ragada, Baranda Recataya, El La Roshanda, El Rando Shanda, El Rando Shanda, El Levenda Rebebeca Berebeca Bia, Radna Ramacaman Ramacabaya, Ragada Rebebeca Berebia, Ragada Rebebeca Berebia, Rababa Barababa Rababa Cabanda, Azon Teleme, Azon Teleme Delia, Randa Rebebia. Shadabara da Rababa Kazama, Ilaka de Rebebe Rebebe Rebebia, Rababa Baba Rababaya, Rebebe Rebebe Kabaya, Let us Tom Miss Katada, Eleven de Rebebe Rebebe Rebebia, Rega de Rebebe Rebebe Rebebia, Rega de Rebebe Rebebia, Rada 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 Rababa Rebebe Rebebia, Rega de Rebebe Rebebe Rebebia, Mazata Bande, Ila Brande Rebebe Kabaya, Ola Rada Rababa Rebebia, Shiko Dobo Hoso. Maliban de Rebebe Rebebe Abradi Ikatsu Zavaha Libran de Lebohos Membre de Rebebe de Remen de Rema Kushada Badabaha Ilabalabaya Lambrodos The name of Jesus Thank you Lord Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 59 verse 19. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 19. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 19. Let's check it out quickly. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 19. It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up his standard against him. The spirit of the Lord will lift up his standard against every storm. Release against your life, release against your family. Every storm that has been prepared from the pit of hell, every floor that has been arakabahaya, lebrendelebeka sundahaya, the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of God will lift up his standard. You will see, my father, my father. The Bible says in the book of Revelation, chapter 12, it talks about a storm, a river, a man that was released against the woman, a man who gave birth, who gave birth. And as soon as you get back, the dragon release on flood. You are going to pray. Every flood prepared against me in the month of December. Ah, listen to me. Better is the end than the beginning thereof. Every storm that has been prepared against your life, every flood from the from the gate of hell, every flood from the mouth of Satan, prepared against you and your family. You will say, Let the storm dry up. 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 I arise over every storm. I arise every over every river. Every every flood forbidden from the pit of hell. Vomited from the mouth of Satan against my life and my family. Every flood released against me in the night. Every flood of darkness, every flood of sorrow, every flood of wickedness, every flood of attack released against my life today by divine authority. They dry up by fire, they dry up by fire. Open your mouth and turn the fire. Let the storm dry up. Let the storm dry up to the roots. Ragaba, render the baby. Let the storm dry up. Let the storm dry up. A ground of Bahia. Let the river, let the flood release by the Devil against my breakthrough. I command this tongue to be strong to dry up. I render who's father. I let me tell him that he's here. Reggae, the remember that he's here. Mazukata, reggae, the Baha. Mazele Mihaya. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we pray. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Say, every flood of the wicked projected against me during the night. Are you ready for prayer today? Every flood of the wicked prepared against my life during the night. Be swallowed up. 
shouting like a shouting like a soldier. Say be swallowed up. Are you ready for prayer? Every flood prepared for me and my family before the end of this year. Shout with the spirit of Elijah. Every flood prepared for me and my family before the end of this year. What is flood? Flood is something that comes to sweep things away. What is flood? Flood is something you don't make any, any, any arrangement. You don't prepare for it. When it comes, it begins to shake even the building. It shakes even the foundation of the building. It, are, you, are you hearing me today? When it comes, it's so dangerous. You don't prepare. Listen to me. Flood is not something that one car breaks down. If the car breaks down, somebody is sick. And it's just a wire. It's like a siege of attack. Attacks on every corner. Hallelujah. I sense the enemy trying to release a major, major attack before the end of this year. I don't know why. I'm sensing something crazy. Los Angeles. I'm sensing something crazy. Are you hearing me today? You are going to pray this prayer loud and clear. Every flood of wickedness prepared against me before the end of this year. Be swallowed up by the power of God. Be swallowed up by the power of God. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Regazaba, regadaba haya. Ilegedelebe ke rebebia. Ilegedelebe ke rebebia. Rebaba 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 Be swallowed up by the power of God. Ilregazaba ha. Ilegedelebe ke rebebia. Masanta la majelebia. Ilegedelebe ke rebebia. Regedelebe ke rebebia. Be sagadaba gadaba kataraba katoria. Ilregedelebe ke pan. Ilabranda rebaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Every satanic revival advancing against me. I want you to shout with a loud voice and scatter. Are you ready? Say satanic revival inspired against me. Satanic revival advancing against me. Scatter! Lekata bara kada bara kada rebebia. Ire kada rebebia bara rebebia. Raba bara bara kada bara rebebia bara dia. Satanic revival inspired against me. I say scatter by fire. Regede rebe bega bere bebe bega bere bebia. Ila gada raba bere bebe bega bere bebia. Raba bara raba bega bere bebia. Regede rebe bere bebe bega bere bebe bere bebia. Rada 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 rebe bebia. Zegele brand bere bebe bere bebe bega bere bebia. Ira regede rebe bere bebe bega bere bebia. Zagada raba bara raba bega brando. Ela brand bere bebia. I'm not hearing anybody pray. I'm not hearing anybody pray. Sageba labrandosh. Regede rebe bia paradia. I say scatter my fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every plan and agenda of the wicked for this week. <laughs> we have barely 40 days left to the end of this year. Amen. Do I? Do I? Barely what? 40 what? Days to the end of this year. Has any good thing, any miracle happened in your life? You want to shout this prayer loud and clear? <laughs> What's the prayer I just gave to you now? Say every satanic plan and agenda for my life before the end of this year. Okay, now. Say every satanic plan and agenda of the devil. To turn my testimony to sorrow. To turn my celebration to shame. Let the agenda of the wicked die by 
by fire. Open your mouth and turn the fire. Zagadabahaya Barandia. Izegeteria Paranda Ribidia. I said, Die by fire. Regeteria Bebeke Berebidia. Ila Kadaraba Berebeke Biabradia. Zadaba, Zadabahaya. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Masalabalaba. Regeteria Bebia Baradish. Ika Bandala Bahaya. Brando Robo Bosses. Die by fire. Die by fire. Regeteria Bebeke Berebia Baradi. Zandala bandele bebe rebe bia barandia rege de rebe bebe rebe bia baradish zagada bada raba baya barandia i rege de rebe bebe rebe bebe bebe rebe bia baradi i lagada raba bara rebe bebe 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 rebe bia raba baba raba baba raba baba bara madoria die by fire levant de rebe bia baradish in the name of jesus hallelujah amen in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Say this after me. Say my prophesied blessings. My prophesied blessings. <laughs> my prophesied promotions. My prophesied testimonies. Before the end of this year. Manifest by fire. Let it manifest by fire. Everything prophesied in my life, every good thing manifest by fire, manifest by fire. let it be a manifestation let it be a reality in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. It's, it can be very, uh, it can be very uh, surprising when you begin to see things go surprisingly, take you by surprise, and they go different manner. Amen. Don't be alarmed in your house. You just need to identify the situation until you call the name by his name. Until you call whatever attack you're going through, call it by his name. You'll begin to see results. Amen. I see somebody here going to get some serious breakthrough right now. Pray this prayer loud and clear. <laughs> Hallelujah. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Witchcraft power. Attacking the works of my hands. Die by fire. Rekadere 
In Jesus name we pray. Ah, Jesus, pray this prayer. Look at that, look at that sister. Pray this prayer. Look at that sister. God just caught me in a vision. You have been doing things and you have not been appreciated by people. You are not appreciated by people. Your good works. You will pray this prayer loud and clear. Whisper powers. Suppressing my good works before men. Witchcraft powers devaluing my good works before men. Some say devalue. Some say downgrade. Some say downgrade. Hallelujah. Say witchcraft powers. Devaluing my good works before men. Die by fire. in Jesus name we pray Amen Amen Hallelujah Please pray this prayer The Lord is giving me this prayer I want us to really pray this prayer together Amen. The Holy Spirit wants to do something. Hallelujah. I told you before that for me, I'm from a royal family. So there's a lot of nonsensical rituals that they do over there. Amen. And every time you got to pray, you got to tackle your foundation. Hallelujah. Because whatever they do, will affect you. It will affect your height. So this is the prayer you're going to pray. Pray with all aggression. Amen. Pray with what? All aggression. Hallelujah. Say every ancestral ritual and prayer. Every ancestral ritual. Okay, shout this loud and clear. Say every shrine on my father's house. Every shrine, shrine of my father's house. Crying downfall against my life and ministry. Are you ready for prayer? It will affect even the priest operating behind the altar. Okay, shout this loud and clear. Please shout this prayer loud and clear, okay? Every 
satanic voice crying against me from the shrine of my father's house. Every voice of Satan crying out against me from the shrine of my father's house, from the shrine of my mother's house, be silenced by fire, opiamata thunder fire. Every voice crying out against me from the shrine of my father's house, from the blood of my father's house, from the blood of my mother's house, that says I will not excel. I say die by fire. I say die by fire. Irregular Rebecca Pa, Ilebranda Rabba Bacazanda, Irregular Rebecca Bia, Irregular Rebecca Bia, Rabba 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 Maria, every wicked voice, every wicked shrine, Irregular Rebecca Bia, Rabba 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 R
Every satanic dedication. Closing good doors against my life. Break by fire. Every satanic dedication. Every satanic dedication. In Jesus' name we pray. Every satanic dedication attacking my marriage. Break by fire. Every Every satanic dedication swallowing my finances. You know, a lot. You know, back in the days, in the olden days, when they have not made a dedication and made a festival or an offering to the gods, the gods of the land would come to the city to require offerings and sacrifices to be made. Hallelujah. And sometimes physically, when a man doesn't make, go back and make sacrifices, these idols of the father's house begin to cause catastrophe 
in the man's finances. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Every satanic dedication. Attacking my finances. Break by fire. Satanic dedication. In Jesus' name we pray. Quiet, quiet. There's a lady right now. A lady right now. You are by the lamp. lamp. I see, amen. I see a black rod pulled out from your forehead. From your forehead down to your womb area. I see a rod being pulled out. You've been bedwetting secretly. And the spirit is coming over you now. The spirit is coming over you now. Holy Spirit. Minister to that lady. Let the wind of the spirit blow upon your people now. Release the wind of the spirit. Let it be released now. Let it be released now. Let it be released now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. Kadarabason Devehes. Just want to share something very brief before we go. Hallelujah. Amen. Something very, very brief. Let's open our Bible to the book of Exodus. Hallelujah. Thank you, my Father, my Jesus. Oh, boy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. You are lifted in the name of Jesus. Rabba ba 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 bo shanda la ba has. Ale van de lebo sambarandi di bibios. Rebe be rebe bi abarandi abarosh. You want to join us? Please post it again. My number, prayer line, information. Hallelujah. Those who would like to be participants, those who would like to join. Jabi from India. God bless you, brother. Hallelujah. What a God we serve. <clears throat> what a God we serve. Exodus chapter 17. Let's go quickly go there quickly. Exodus chapter 17. I want to speak on the subject on her. Hallelujah. The ministry of her. Amen. <clears throat> Exodus chapter 17. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Lord. Wonderful God. Father, we thank you. We give you the praise. We come before you right now. Let everyone that hears the sound of my voice. Be as though they heard the voice of God. Spirit of God, enter into every home through this. Minister to every life, every life. Let your the light of your spirit break forth into every home. Let the fear of God overshadow every life and destiny. Father, quicken every mortal man. Spring them back to faith. Cause them to yearn after you. Let your holy hunger come upon them, my God. Oh, Spirit of God, 
will revoke the curse and the spell. Lord, silence the voice of the accuser. Arise, O Jehovah. Arise, O Jehovah. Arise, O Jehovah. Let the words that we speak be infused with revelation. Speak to our hearts. Minister to us. Touch us, O God. Awaken us. Revelation to break forth into our spirit. We are ready to receive fresh manna from you. Oh God, uncover hidden mysteries within us. Uncover hidden mysteries within your word. Holy Spirit of God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So does seven things. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Everyone, get ready for what God is about to do. Please invite, spread the news around because God is faithful and is about to do something very unique. I thought I went in there. This is my scriptures. It's all believable. Mm. No, they can't. Okay, all right. Amen. Verse 3 And the people tested there for water. The people murmured against Moses and said, Wherefore is this that thou hast brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our cattle and death? First, Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, What shall I do unto these people? They be almost ready to stone me. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go up or go on now before the people and take with thee the elders of Israel, thy wrath, wherewith thou smotest the river, and take in thy hand and go. Behold, I will stand before thee there up on the rock of Horeb, and thou shalt smit the rock, and there come water out of it, that the people may drink it. And, it, and Moses did so in the sight of the elders. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, we jump and we go right to verse 8. Then came Amalek, fought with Israel in Rephidim. And Moses said, Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out men and go out and fight with Am Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. Hallelujah. I will stand on top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. I will stand upon the hill. Choose us out men and go out and fight with Amalek. Go out and fight with Amalek. So Joshua did as Moses had said unto him. The command was given to Joshua. Said unto him and and so Joshua did as Moses had said unto him, and fought with Amalek. And Moses and Aaron and her went up onto the hill, top of the hill. It came to pass, when Moses held up his hand, that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. Hallelujah. And Moses' hands were heavy, and they took Moses' hand were heavy, and they took a stone, put it under his under him, and he sat there on, and Aaron and her stayed up his hands, the one on the one side, and the other on the other side, and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. Joshua discomforted Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword, and the Lord said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in the book. Rehearse it in the ears of Joshua, for I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek. Write it. The Lord said unto Moses, Write this for a Joshua on memorial. And, Josh, and Moses built an altar and called the name Jehovah Nisi. Because, for he said, Because the Lord has sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation this victory was attained and brought much glory because there were men who made themselves available hallelujah i want to speak to you on the whole anointing hallelujah 
Amen. The only time and way when Paul got his name to the record books, he was able to access historic generational books. He was able to access biblical chronicle books, biblical records. Why? Because the first time his name was mentioned it was because he included himself among the elders who held up the hand of Moses. Who held up what? The hand of Moses. Moses was a man who knew God. Moses was a man who feared God. Moses was a man who delighted in God. Moses was a man who was humble among all. Moses was so special before the Lord. Are you hearing me today? Moses was a most, one of the most loyal. I speak in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke every form of attack, every form of demonic oppression, every witchcraft activities. I bind that spirit right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I release that blood over the prayer line and over periscope by the power in the Holy Ghost. I deploy the angels of God. Let your chief holy angels be released. Now, every satanic blockage, every satanic obstruction, every satanic distraction, I bind that spirit now in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, let the blood of Jesus overshadow everyone now as they hear the sound of the, your voice. Holy Ghost, speak to us. Holy Ghost, brood over us now. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost be released in the name of I activate grace right now. Right now, right now. Let fresh unction, fresh ears be open now to hear the voice of God. Let every heart be open now. I bind the spirit of distraction. I break that power. I quicken every heart right now. Every spirit of slumber, I hereby arrest you. I arrest the spirit of heaviness. I arrest the spirit of oppression by the power in the Holy Ghost. Let fresh revelation, revelation flow like a river, like a river, like a river. Let your river break forth now in the name of Jesus and let lives be transformed. Let his soul, souls be healed. Let destinies, oh God, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are seeing something that is very, very unique. Amen. Her is a is 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 is, is a man who amen. Hallelujah. When we study this man, he's showing forth is something that is very, very unique. Hallelujah. Amen. He, he, he was a man who not really recognized, but this man played a vital role. In helping Moses you see Moses was a man who loved God Moses was a man who tarried before his presence he was a man amen hallelujah who even though he was of age amen but the strength of God was on him amen but prophetically as his hand was stretched forth amen he needed somebody to raise up his hands and the more his hands got weaker the more the enemy gained victory hallelujah if we are to prevail against our enemies we need to come together and network Somebody say network. It is the kingdom purpose. Amen. The kingdom purpose. Listen to me. One man cannot just bring victory when you relax. You need to come together. And this is why the ministry of Hall is the ministry of prayer warriors. When ministers come together, when the anointing come together, it's a corporate anointing. Hallelujah. As they sat down together, listen to me. Even though Joshua was the fighter fighting down, Moses needed his hand to be raised up in essence of prayer, which speaks of prayer, which speaks of communication before God, which speaks of intercession. As we lift up our hands to Jehovah, we are focused. Amen. But somehow, when our hands come down, sometimes it's because we are distracted. Sometimes it's because we have too many things around us. Sometimes we have to focus on here, focus on issues of people, focus on here. But God wants our hearts to focus, to, to be focused on Him. That is why Paul says we give ourselves to prayer. Many of you handle the affairs of the church. Hallelujah. Why? Because there are some certain things that can cut us off. Some of the things that can distract us. Amen. But this is the season God is raising the hall. Hall is a man that was not publicly appreciated. But it was a man that God had prepared. It was a man that God had designed. It was a man that carried God's grace. It was a man that, 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 that the God's heart was on, on him. Hallelujah. Very shortly, I'm going to be opening to you what... You, what is the lesson behind this? Amen. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Every time, uh, every ministry stands on the platform of those of Joshua, those of 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 of, of Aaron, and those of Hur. Amen. H U R O. H U R O. H U R O. Amen. M Moses, Joshua, Aaron, and Hur. These are the capital people. Amen. We can also say Peter, James, and John. These are caterpillars. These are pillars. These are pillars in the kingdom. Amen. You know, the horror wasn't a man who was 
a, a liability it was an asset to the kingdom many of us we go into places we we don't want to be part of the people we don't want to be pillars in the place we just come amen participate enjoy and go your name will not be on the record books your name will not be inscribed among the stones amen joseph was a man that helped carry the cross of jesus he will never never be forgotten if he dies and he goes to heaven there is a place reserved for him whether you like it or not. Why? Because he helped lift up the burdens of Jesus. He helped lift up the pains of Jesus. His name is inscribed in a stone reserved for him in heaven. Hallelujah. There are trophies. There are foundational trophies. Some of us don't bear pain for the ministry. We don't know how to bear pain for the ministry. Every little thing we are gone. Every little thing we are gone. It's all about ourselves. It's all about ourselves. That's it. Amen. There are different things to me. Peter paid his own price. People paid their own price. Hallelujah. You cannot come here and just be a liability. What is a liability? Somebody who just likes, just seeks his own interest. You don't see the interest of the kingdom of God. You don't see the interest of the pastor. You don't see how you can help the minister or help the church, help the body of Christ. Amen. You go in, go out. You're the first to leave. You're the first to come in. Hallelujah. The first, you, amen. Hallelujah. You don't come in too early. Amen. And you leave when everybody, everybody goes. Nothing is released upon you. Listen to me. Among the 12 disciples, Jesus took only three. God gave no responsibility to the rest of the disciples. Among the 120, we didn't hear their names. Amen? Hallelujah. But when he spoke, chose these 12, much responsibilities were not given to them. Judas had the responsibility. He had the financial aspect. But he lost it because his heart was corrupt. Another took his place. Amen? But Peter, James, and John were selected. Giving it life, giving unto a life to live a like sacrificial life. These were the ones that God began to interpret, tell them a secret pain. He began to Jesus is not open to his twelve. He began to tell these three people, Amen, how they pain. And they, there are people who are just running away from responsibilities. If you run away from responsibilities, the Bible says, Seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all it did say, Seek ye first the pastor, or seek ye first this pastor. No. His kingdom, his kingdom, his kingdom, kingdom interest. All other things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. So, oh, people, people of God, listen to me. This is one of the greatest mistakes that people do nowadays is to run away from kingdom responsibilities. God is evaluating. There are many times I've been burdened, pressured. When I was serving under a man of God, it was very brutal. Sometimes, amen, very nice to me. Sometimes it can be very tough. And those times I, I could be very, very, very sensitive. Amen. Then anything that he does that can really hurt my faith, I just want to leave. And one time I called his spiritual father. His spiritual father said to me, he says, says, son, Every minister before they get into their ministry goes through this route. They go through this. He said, Understand that God is greeting your response. How you respond, because it's, it's, it's how you murmur in the wilderness. But if you praise me through this and you see God in everything, don't see the man. If you see the man, you will get frustrated. But if you see God training you in the midst of this, you will be rewarded. If you rejoice in it, God will reward you. Remember, God is the one greeting you. You must pass it with, with A's. Every minister, including Benny him, have gone through a place where they serve and it's very painful. Remember that Moses and Joshua went through the same thing. That Moses is not sensitive towards me, all kinds of stuff. So don't take it personal. Be with God. Connect with God. I speak to somebody here today. Listen to me. Your blessings is hidden in your servitude. Hallelujah. Committed. Committed. Glory to God. Glory to God. Some people get so, so, so agitated. Anything can frustrate a man. Anything can frustrate a minister. Don't be the ones that get easily frustrated. People get so frustrated in the kingdom. They hear one thing. Ah, let me tell you one major thing that scares people now. Once a minister talks about money, like, like he's on salary, like he's on payroll. Once a minister talks about money, everybody begins to fly a while they begin to leave. People don't understand how expensive ministry is. The man who was playing in New York, people don't understand how expensive he was. The man who was playing in New York, we paid him $2,500. I'm saying it's open now. It's over now. But that was what we paid. We gave to him. People just think that pastor sits down. I don't know what people think, but I'm just telling you. Amen. They are accounting. There are things that go into kingdom. Amen. It's not cheap. To, you can bring anybody in the flesh anybody to the flesh to come and sing and play music 
God had to change the music twice. Because the people who will come who were to play did not carry the hard desire or the passion that God wants. You can bring people who operate in the outer court and they won't take you to God's presence. And the very people who take you into God's presence can even the value to get them can be very high. But I said in the name of Jesus, we've got to pay that price. Hallelujah. Moses was a man who heard from God. And for him to experience total victory, he need men like her. He need men like Aaron. He need men like Moses. He need men like Joshua to fulfill the task. Not one man can do it. Hallelujah. I'm begging and I'm pleading that listen to me. If God has called you to be an intercessor, if God has called you to be a fighter, if God has called you to be like Peter, to be a financier, to, to be a sponsor every month, make yourself available. Amen. If the Lord has called you particularly, says, ah, I want to be of a help to organize. If you are skillful in some things, make yourself available. Listen to me. There are some things that the Lord, I'm going to share today. You know, Mm. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, love Rondo. Seba halabaza. Salabado le vias. Rekete rebebi aparados. Anene mendele meme aparados. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want us to reopen our scriptures to uh, uh, Job 36, verse 11. Job 36, verse 11. Look at what it says in there. Job 36, verse 11. Um, those on the, those on live, is there any way you, are you there? Please, if you are there, please read it for me live. Read it for me quickly. Let me see. Hallelujah. Amen. Anybody there? Yes, yeah, go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm going to read it again for, 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 for clarity so that it can be very, very clear. Amen. I beg of you, um, some of you are at work and uh, if you are at work and you know that you are at work in a busy area, it will be nice for you to meet your phone because even at work, you can't even pray loud. So just meet your phone. Amen. It will, just, it will, it will be nice for, because we are hearing your conversations with your co-workers. Hallelujah. Job 36, it says what? Verse 11. It says what? If they obey and serve him, who do you serve? You serve the kingdom. You serve the church. You don't go. Jesus dwells in the temples of God. The Bible says, where two or three are gathered, I'm there in the midst of it. I mean, they are midst. Amen. Hallelujah. Any ministry and any kingdom that is based in God, what is the right ministry? The ministry, Jesus says, what? My house shall be called house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. You made it a den of thieves. Amen. Hallelujah. Why did tears get in there? Because they were not praying. But when prayer begins to go into effect, it drives away every every wrong agenda to rob, to rob the things of God, to steal. But it says now, if you obey, if they obey and serve him, they will spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. If they obey not, they shall perish by the sword and they shall die with knowledge, without knowledge. Why would they perish by the sword? Because the enemy will take over them. But by serving in the kingdom, God upholds you. God prepares you. God anoints you and brings you to a place of pleasure. Hallelujah. Sometimes you get weary. Sometimes the leader gets weary. If you, if everybody backs out and just allow the leader to do his thing, you'll be weak, whether you like it or not. Amen. And this was what happened to Moses. Moses in law came to advise moses he says moses you're gonna burn out he said you're gonna burn out you must find men amen of character you must find men of skillful wisdom to help you amen and so moses began to find elders several of them they began to help and they lightened the burden of moses amen the church began to spread over and over jesus when he came 
he needed 12 disciples he poured himself into 12, 12 of them he had 120 but he selected 12 amen hallelujah and ministered to them poured his grace upon them amen and now we see the huge church all over the world hallelujah he raising up a team he, amen amen this ministry this ministry of the lord cannot survive on one man you cannot just fold your hands just watch one man do the prayers no you must get involved amen pastor can i be part of it pastor how can i be part of it amen enroll yourself amen enroll yourself jesus is so concerned with those who are loyal to the kingdom not those who are just anyhow come anyhow come anything come anything go no when you make yourself available god will begin to fight for you when you make yourself available god will begin to even use the minister to become a blessing to your life hallelujah amen be loyal. Listen to me. Anna was a woman that needed a child. And the Lord just knew was looking for a prophet. God was looking for a prophet. Anna was looking for a child. Anna was looking for a child, was looking for a fruit of the womb. But God was looking for a prophet. Who can I use as a uh, who can I raise up to be a prophet? And he was watching Hannah. Was watching Hannah. Hannah began to pray. Hannah began to talk to God. God just says, angel was saying lord can we go and give her the blessings and not yet not yet not yet she has to make the deal first she has to make the vow and when anna opened her mouth and anna said hey my god i give this son to serve into the kingdom this son i will not touch samuel when this boy come he will stay in the temple helping helping uh, um, um, jesus help me eli helping eli amen and when the son was created listen to me this woman needed the son but she made a vow that the first child will stay in the temple. I'm not even talking about offering. She's the first child. And the child, when the child came, he took the child, very happy, took the child, dropped the child, made a vow. Without her knowing that that child, God will raise the child to be the greatest prophet in the whole of Israel. It was through that prophet, why God raised that child. God's greatest intention was to retain the kingdom after the ark of God had left. God wanted to use this young man. Now, if Anna was selfish, all about herself, that woman, Eli's mate, she's not recognized. She wasn't special. Her name was forgotten. Why? All she wanted was to have children. But this woman gave herself for kingdom interest. If you seek your force, his kingdom and his righteousness all other things all other things is added what money are you looking for what things are you looking for what houses are you looking for what connections are you looking for in the kingdom in the kingdom in the kingdom somebody say in the kingdom hallelujah the man wanted to go bury the dead jesus says let the dead bury the dead he was selecting men adding men that add value choose men like peter choose men and everywhere jesus went there was signs there was wonders he was doing good why? Because great men made themselves available for the kingdom. We live in a world that is very selfish now. People are so committed to their own life and family and they don't see end how they can impart the kingdom. You don't need to open your own ministry to fulfill your ministry. Hallelujah. You can start, amen, by preparing yourself, by praying for a ministry, for praying for a minister to stand strong. You can uphold your hands by intercession. You can uphold your hands by prayer. You can secretly be praying and be calling on your hands. You can even call them and be encouraging them. You can even, hallelujah, you can even be supporting them either financially or wherever, wherever it is. But be a pillar. Let your life matter. Let them know. You know when people begin to miss you, when, when, when they call you and they say, Pastor, what do you think about this person? And the pastor looks and says, this one is a pillar. This one, thank God for her. Thank God for him. Listen to me. Anything they say concerning you happens. Anything they say happens. And people don't understand it. I remember one time. Early, early time. I went to a meeting with my pastor. To my apostle. And I just started a walk just within a week. But he began to pray, pour oil on, me, on my hand. And the oil was so hot. He said, God is about to give you a breakthrough. Well, I went home. And I realized that they sent me a check. I worked for two days and they sent me a check for one week. I saw the check and the Lord says, give it to your pastor. And my man of God came. I said, man of God, sir, the Lord wants to give it to, this to you. 
As I gave it to him, I went on my knees. He began to release blessings upon me. My life was so barren that that moment. I remember that. But after that, in the next one month, my life just exploded. Not because of my sowing, but because I've saved him. And when he was began to pronounce blessing from his heart, he said, Sir, but you need to pay your rent. I said, Sir, no. This is what the Lord asked me. He said, Are you sure? Let me bless you. And he, things began to erupt. Somebody said, Servitude. Serving. Not serving the man, but serving the God in the man. Identifying Christ in the man. Many people are so obscured and so distracted by the flesh, forgetting to see Christ in every individual. By a prophet, a nation is delivered. By a prophet, you are established believing in the God in a man. Hallelujah. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, then will I hear the land. Many leprous people are going around speaking negative about the church. And so you meet people who are who are also leprous because they open their mouth and begin to speak negative. So the spirit of leprous enters the church now, enters the saints of people. Negative people speaking now. If you meet people like who was uh, Moses' uh, sister, who began to speak against Moses, if you meet people like that, you befriend them. They talk and they talk. Till that talk enters you. You deny yourself from your inheritance. God himself was enraged when people like that begin to speak. Are you hearing me today? I've been through some several experiences. Somebody thought you would test us demonically. And they came. Some one person came to New York, tried, he thought maybe. <laughs> uh, but God was a victory. God surprised. Even myself, God surprised even that individual. Whatever attack they were preparing for us, the Lord sent it back. In a serious way, you cannot come and plan evil against the church of God. It's not; it will not work with an evil assignment. No, 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 no. Amen. But God watches His servants. God preserves. If you make yourself available, my goodness, you are preparing yourself for a greater, a greater destiny with God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Fight for the progress of the church. Make yourself count. Make yourself available. You will not be forgotten. Jesus watches those. Who, when everybody have despised, even the minister, you are there standing. God did not hand over the ministry to those who were complaining. It was never written that Joshua murmured. It was never in the record books that Joshua murmured. Amen. Those who murmured, they were never, they were never, they were never recorded for greatness. Amen. Moses' sister probably would have inherited a high anointing. But because she murmured, because of familiarity, she got so close to him, to, the, to, to, to Moses, that she felt she could just open her mouth because of the blood related. But God did not care. God did not care. God began to address that situation. Amen. Embarrassed her, almost with leprosy. If not, Moses cried for her. Amen. And nothing was spoken about the anointing on her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray to God that in the name of Jesus, that every her. H U R O that has been connected to you, that has been assigned to you for this hour to lift your hands up in the day of battle. Amen. In the day of battle, to lift your hand, to stand beside you. I pray for you that God will connect you to that hall in the name of Jesus Christ. One of the things that understood is that Peter was a man to, that was picked out by prophecy. Peter was a man to identity when he saw Christ in Jesus. Amen. Jesus said, upon this rock will I build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail. If this is a man that is ready to build my church. This is a man that I'm able to come in agreement with. Hallelujah. And such men, such men are these. I will establish my church. I will establish my throne. I will pick him out. I will select him and I'm making my trophy on the earth. And when he said all these things and Jesus went to go pray, the Bible says he was grieved. He was grieved. He was heavy burdened. Amen. Listen to me. Until the pastor begins to unfold his pain to you, you might not understand what is really going on amen the, the evidence of a man and minister be, uh, floating his pain to you is that you are close to him you are close to him you are close to him many people are not ready they begin to hear things like this i don't want to hear negativity they shut themselves down no 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 every burden of a pastor that is relieved by you or you will help in one way or the other to assist the ministry comes with a heavenly reward no 
assistance rendered to the kingdom never goes unrewarded no assistance ever rewarded to the kingdom never goes unrewarded never 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 the man who provided the coffin the man who provided the place for jesus to be buried amen his names went on record books the man who poured or the woman who poured all year on the feet of jesus her name was recorded don't be don't be greedy don't just go left wire and just be a spectator amen you'll be a spectator there is no response there is no establishment are you, are you hearing me today are you hearing me today there are people that are doing things for the kingdom hallelujah i remember sadhu my spiritual father my spiritual father something happened to her to him he was sharing his story he meant how he was wanting to raise some money amen and there was this family this uh, family who sent some money he knew this family how broke they were now this family wrote on a letter how they will be believing god to buy a rock just a rock in their living room because the whole rock was eaten up and it's been there for 34 years they are found they are their they are, they are kids came from overseas studying pharmacy and they bought this heavy rock and they designed the whole house hallelujah so they said okay now before we send this money thing do you want us to buy the furniture or you want us to send the money they said send the money they sent the money and sadhu was ministry on tv amen about trying to build the temple of god so they looked at each other and says you know what let's start building this thing we are old already let's send this money there send the money to sadhu amen sadhu opened the letter he began to pray as he began to pray jesus came in there he says tell them this tell them this tell them this tell them this amen amen tell them this tell them this and sadhu was actually taken into heaven and he began to see how god amen desired them and what god has prepared for this couple there was a major stone diamond stone and god says tell them this is reserved for them why because they sought the kingdom the kingdom comes with sacrifice it doesn't come with pleasure amen if you're going to back the kingdom there is heavy word sacrifice listen to me a man who plays the basketball the man who is the uh, point guard or who is the man who is with the ball they will actually go after him there's a more target towards the point guard amen the man who plays the football the quarterback they are always after them the major attacks amen amen if you are without the ball people will not target you but the man that is with the ball is the major target amen hallelujah that is why moses needed prayers moses needed prayers the devil was contesting for the bones of moses hallelujah the devil will come at all at all at all when the enemy strikes the shepherd the sheep scatters hallelujah and god will not allow it i said over my dead body will i be watching a church as a watchman a warrior and the devil will come and strike my apostle i say god forbid it will not happen in my days some of you are hearing the sound of my voice do not fold your hands do not close your hands and allow kingdoms or ministries to, to perish no it will not i made a vow any ministry i go to anywhere i go anywhere i carry the lord carries me to i will i will, I will put away my pride and help whether i've been there before or whatever it is i'll try to help them through prayer i will have to try to raise them up through prayer forgetting putting away every form of selfishness every form of my empire let me build it up that devil is a liar hallelujah hallelujah for me amen hallelujah people wonder what, what happened what happened three days ago was it yesterday the lord says send this check send this check send this check there were several ministries the lord wanted me to so 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 why 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 is a sacrifice living a life of what sacrifice not coming here and just making noise and no 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 no. you don't need to be sowing into your ministry so into what other ministries hallelujah glory to god and then you begin to see the reward amen you begin to see what the reward because every ministry needs your heart to stand strong hallelujah praise god praise god praise god i pray for you in the name of jesus every helper that you need every kingdom helper every kingdom helper that will not take the glory every lawyer committed helper every humble sincere helpers i decree the name of jesus that god will begin releasing them to your life from today in the name of jesus christ every power of the enemy that has been released against you i break such power i break such attack i break such spells by the power in the blood i can't hear you say amen hallelujah the bible says that something happened to david david was a man who was a warrior Amen. Man was a warrior, but he needed some other warriors to fight for him. He needed some other people, amen, to stand with him. He needed people who were who, who understood warfare, who understood prayers. Hallelujah. Hey, thank Paro, some brotherly fire. Let's open our Bible to Ezekiel 31. Ezekiel 31. I want to share something for you too. Very, very quickly. Something very unique. Hallelujah. Please don't go yet. Amen. We're about, we're about to be done. We are about to conclude this section. Hallelujah. Exodus 31, Exodus 31, Exodus 31, 
What is going on? I stop this in the name of Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Lord spake unto Moses. Now remember this. Now Moses waited upon the mountain. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at what happened now. Now we remember this in in um, in Exodus, in the early Exodus. Amen. I will begin to talk about Exodus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I will give you the praise. Okay, look at what it says in Exodus uh, 31. And then and the Lord spake unto Moses. See, I have called by name Be Zali, the son of Uri, and the son of Or, and the tribe of Judah. I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, in all manner of workmanship. Hallelujah. The Lord spake unto Moses. The Lord spake unto Moses. Now, remember this. There was a man who held the hands of Moses in the early chapters that we read. Long early chapters. But now we are seeing now, it says, I've called by name Bezali, the son of Uri, the son of Hor. So he was a grandson of Hor, the tribe of Judah. He said, I have filled him with the spirit of God in the wisdom, in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, in all manner of workship, workmanship. Look at this. To devise cunning works, to work in gold, in silver, in brass. So God put this grace in him. God put this wisdom in him. God planted this skillful, un skillful gift in him. Amen. Hallelujah. He said in, in verse 5, in cutting of stones, to set them, in carving of timber, to walk in all manner of workmanship. And I beheld, and I, I have given with him a holy up, the son of Amishapi, the tribe of Dan, in the heart of all that are wise-hearted, I have put wisdom, that they may make all that I have commanded thee. Verse 7, the tabernacle of the congregation, the ark of testimony, the mercy seat that is upon, and all the furniture of the tabernacle. Wow. Are you seeing something here? And the Lord began to say, hmm, these men's names were mentioned. Why? Why were the names picked out? Why was the names of God, Jehovah, by prophecy, calling the names? God said, I did not just put this talent or gift to embezzle or to fill up their pockets with money. I put this gift in them to design the kingdom, to design the garments, to design the ropes. I specifically put this skill. What skill do you have? I'm speaking to you right now. So you're hearing the sound of my voice on Periscope and on Soft or WhatsApp and your on prayer line. You are very skillful. You are very skillful in business. You're very skillful in this. You think that this skill is just for you? You think this skill is just for you and your family? Or this skill is for the kingdom? Or this skill is to build the kingdom of God? God put this to build the ark of God. Amen. He didn't put in Moses, he put selected Moses was to, to have an encounter to wait upon him. But there were certain men that were selected to uphold the pillars of God. There were certain men that men that, men that were picked out, that was singled out, that was anointed, that was that was imparted. Amen. Hallelujah. There are some certain talents, amen, that people are using for Egypt. People are using to serve Babylon. People are using to serve in what the I can God give you a gift of dancing, and you're using it in the kingdom of Satan, you're using it for nightclubs. That, that, you, I mean that is that is a shame that is a ridicule before the lord if god has given you a unique gift use it for the kingdom amen god gave talent to to satan and satan used the gift well to god use it to praise god use it to glorify god use it to move heaven what gift and talent are you using for the kingdom what talent are you weary now in using your talent are you monetizing your talent now or are you very very excited listen to me if this priests if these people who god called are holy up 
Amen. Aholiab and Bezali. If God called them and they were using it for business and they never used it for the kingdom, do you know God will judge them? It means that they were on the earth. They never fulfilled the call of God. They never fulfilled the ministry that God has called them to do. They were doing the things that God did not approve. Yes, they went to school. Yes, they went to acquire wisdom, all kinds of stuff. But they feel, listen to me, some of them even probably practiced, they were under, they were learning from others. They practice and they studied others listen to me jesus was a jesus was a man whose father was a competitor but he was never a competitor himself what is that trying to tell us his very purpose was not to be a competitor god has selected jesus to be somebody sometimes to to bring salvation to mankind what is your purpose on the earth are you among the basali are you among the hall are you gifted in every areas some of you are gifted even doing websites for the kingdom don't sit on it don't sit on that gift there's a level of trophies in heaven that god is about to reward you see as thou a man diligent in all his ways he will stand before kings and not before mean men he will stand before kings and not before mean men the skill that daniel acquired was not for anything he stood in the place of Babylon. He stood in a heathen place. He stood among the king. But God was the one that reminded him, you are not here, son, for pleasure. You are here to represent the kingdom of heaven. You are here to because the properties and the, 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 the items, the vessels of God were stolen, captured from the kingdom of God. And they brought it to this heathen place. I put you here to intercede. I put you here to reverse. I put you here to, to revoke the plans of the devil, to abuse the items of God, to abuse what is being used, thrown down by the wicked. And so Adani was seeing how they were abusing the things of God. Daniel was seeing those who brought Israel to captivity through the sins of the Israels. Amen. Hallelujah. But so Daniel proposed in his heart that he will not sin against God. And he so studied the scriptures. He studied that Israel was in captivity and will be in captivity for 400 years. And they were coming close to that. Amen. So he began to pray. He began to intercede that God, your time is up. Why would God raise up Daniel in that strategic time? In that strategic prophetic time, it means that God doesn't just put you in any house. If you find yourself like Esther, is to redeem you, is to redeem you, redeem the kingdom. Amen. Esther was thinking of just pleasure. Esther was just thinking of pleasure. But guess what? Mordecai said, listen to me, woman of God. This is not the reason why God put you there. If not, God will raise somebody else to take your position. I pray for you today. No man will take your position. You May you not occupy space. I decree by the power of the blood. May you overturn. May you make a shift in the kingdom. May you make a shift in the kingdom. And may you inscribe your name in heaven. One time I was praying. I was praying a scripture. I believe whether Psalm 36 or 37. Hallelujah. I began to pray the scripture. I was just praying a particular scripture. Praying before heaven. Praying, 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 praying. As I began to pray, I fell asleep. I said, Lord, pick me out. Single me out for the kingdom. I want to make an impact for the kingdom. And one day, before prayer line, I just, early in the morning, let me say 40, 40 years. I just, I don't know what happened. I saw myself running, running. And as I looked at the water, it was crystal, brightness, bright, shining. I could see the grass. I could see so much life. Almost like the grass had a kind of a music, rhythm. You could see the communication. But when I saw this, I began to run. I was running. I don't know where I was running to. And I was seeing beautiful structures, beautiful houses, left and right. And I was so, 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 so consumed by the social crowd. Um, uh, structures that it marveled me i said my goodness where is this place and all of a sudden i saw this big massive building with two white horses beautiful horses arrayed in gold amen and i said come because i was working with his son a young boy and i says come down just wait wait let's let's see this place now this young boy speaks like an angel amen hallelujah when i saw this young boy i knew it was my son my, my son my, my son i don't have a physical son but i could see i could sense there was a blood connection between me and him i was sense it was my son amen in the spirit hallelujah as so i looked at him i was like wow we started communicating so we came before this house and i said my goodness who is this house so beautiful big two mighty horses so as I touched the gate, the gate opened pathways, opened himself. And I entered the house. Two matrons, white, 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 came out. 
and they came to the lobby. He says, how are you? God bless you. Welcome, brother. I said, oh, thank you. And the word came out of my mouth was, when can I enter into this house? When can I come into my house and dwell? He says, son, you still have some assignment on the earth to do before the Lord brings you here. And immediately my son said, can I, come, can I move in now? And they said, no, you still need to finish your school. And I looked, I was like, whoa, do you have school in heaven? So you need to still finish your school. And he was like, okay, okay. And they told me some things. You need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. And but when I turned, I looked at the time. It was 5 a.m. sharp. It was time for the prayer line. Amen? When I got into the prayer line, I was like, why am I sweating? You know? It's because someone was dripping. Maybe it's blood or something. So I tapped my forehead. It was oil. Oil. Oil was dripping. Hallelujah. So I wiped it off. I said, I'm sweating. No big deal. I went to the restroom after the prayer line and I could feel something dripping. I dropped it again. It was oil. Smelt it. It looked, it had a kind of like, I can't describe it, one winish smell. Hallelujah. And I said, oh, this is oil coming out from my forehead. Amen. Now, that is an experience that happened two years ago. Hallelujah. Now, why am I saying this? If you move the kingdom through deep intercession, if you move the kingdom through tears, many of you don't cry for yourself. How much more you cry for your pastor? How much more you really cry, cry in pain? Some of you are saying, I don't want to pray because you know what? I don't want to pray because I don't want I don't want to attack. I don't want no warfare. You are you are a joker. You are a joker. You are living a life of pleasure, and there's no reward for that. Amen. When you reach that place whereby you take the burdens of the pastor like it's yours, you take the burdens of the minister like it's yours. You are preparing yourself for inheritance. You are preparing yourself what for a great reward. Amen. God is only concerned with those who are called pillars, pillars, pillars. Are you a pillar? Are you a pillar? Are you a pillar? Are you passionate to move the kingdom of God? Are you passionate to remove do this? Listen to me. Moses, Joshua, God said to Joshua, tell Moses, Mo Moses, hand over the ministry to Joshua. Ah, really? Hand over the ministry to Joshua? Hand over the ministry to Joshua? Yes, hand over the ministry to Joshua. And God said, tell Joshua, be strong and courageous. Why? Because Joshua has seen how they treated Moses. There was no appreciation. People were so wrong. Those nasty people, nasty character, they come in, come in. And we are hungry, we are thirsty. And Moses provide. Okay, good. Then next thing, we are hungry, we are thirsty. No appreciation, no say thank you. Nothing. It was never recorded in the Bible. Oh, thank you, Moses. Oh, we are th thank you for delivering us. No. Always murmuring. Always criticizing. Always saying the negative things about Moses. Even God himself got angry. The way they were murmuring. That is how bad negative people can affect people. Hallelujah. So Joshua did not, he didn't have time. He was just tired of it. I said, I don't want to. I don't want, I don't, mm, I don't want all this. I don't want these people. Mm, Lord, you, mm, you got to do something. Tell him, be strong and be courageous. He said, rehearse his victory. So that when he's discouraged, tell him how I used him in the past. And God says, put it on the memorial. Rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. Because where he's going, he needs to be strong. He needs to fortify himself. He needs to be bold. And some of us are chickening out. You're getting too weak. Forgetting that grace, the hand of the Almighty, the sovereign hand of God, will come upon you. Some of us are so scared to even pray for our city. What we are so worried about is just me and my family because I don't want the devil to come and attack me. Without realizing that angels are looking for people that can pray. Angels just want you to say, my city. And they will move. But because you're always saying your family, your family. What is family? Hallelujah. What is family? God was only concerned about the guy who brought what fishes and bread to feed the whole people. That boy brought it out. They call you the word boy. Because an adult will be thinking of investment. Hallelujah. When that boy brought what he had to eat, brought it out for sacrifice, and God, Jesus, spoke blessings upon it. And this boy took back 12 fragments, a basket full of fragments of food, took it back home. Don't think small, think big. The kingdom mind, let your mind be focused on the kingdom. Jesus gave himself up for prayer. If you are fasting, are you fasting to show off the anointing? Or are you fasting to liberate men from oppression? Liberate men from attacks? 
Are you hearing me today? When you see God's face and you are fasting, amen, hallelujah. See God, how you can impart this generation. How you can bring the hand of God to your, to your city, to your neighborhood, to your household. Hallelujah. Smash the workings of the devil. Don't let the devil limit you. Don't let the devil discourage you. Don't let the devil shut you. Amen, discourage you. Peter, the devil has sought to swift you like with, but I pray for you. I pray for you. Jesus wasn't coming back to comfort all of them. He was coming to prove himself to Peter. When he cornered Peter, after Peter jumped into the river, look at what he said to Peter. Thou lovest me more than this? Feed me. Do you love the fishing so much? Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. See, Peter was so grieved. Because all Peter was thinking about was money, money. I want to make fish. I want to sell fish so I could feed my family. Fishy, 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 fishy. And Jesus said, I have picked you, Peter. Why do you keep looking back? And Jesus tried to hide his emotions. But it was too much. Too much. Peter was just going back and forth. Unstable. Unstable. Peter, Peter, fisherman, fish for the kingdom. Why are you so distracted? And that's how we are in life. Many people are so consumed by the pain they are going through in their house. But if you obey and serve him, you will spend your years in pleasure and your days in prosperity. Hallelujah. Because he reward is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I carry on today, if I go on and on and on today, wherever you are, just go ahead and begin to talk to the Lord. Say, Lord, I'm ready. Whatever it is you have to do with me to move the kingdom, whatever road, speak to me, Lord, whatever road you want me to walk in, whatever department, how do you want me to use me, O oh God, in this ministry? How can I help the minister? How can I help the pastor? How can I help? How can I help the church? Father, speak to me. Speak to me. Go ahead and begin to talk to the Lord. Lord, speak to me. Mangoza Banto Radaria Fatias. Alevandele Baby Abarador Babyosh. Shanda Dabarabaka Sandabahas. Elevanto Levende Rebebe Abaradish. O Rebebe Rebebe Abarando Rebebios. Shalabando Rebebe Rebebe Abaradia. Rebede Rebebe Rebebe Gebe Abarado Rebebios. Salabando Rebebe Rebebe Gebe Rebebe Abarado. Rababa Rababa Gabarando Rebebe Abaradia. Zelebando Rebebe Rebebe Gebe Abaradish. Rababa Rababa Gashando Rebebosis. Celebende Rebebe Rebebe Abaradish. Ah, Rababa Rababa Yabras. Salivede Rebebe Rebebe Abrados. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah chapter 6. And this is why we're running up our prayers when they were done. Amen. In the year King Goziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on the throne, high and lifted up, and his reign strength filled the temple. Above it, okay, we'll just go down. Hallelujah. Verse 4, and the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. And, and the house was filled with smoke. And then said, I, woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of a clean lips. I dwell in the midst of all clean lips. For my eyes have seen the the king and the lord of hosts then flew one of the seraphims unto me having a life coal in his hands which he had taken from the thong from of the altar altar and he laid it upon my mouth and said lord these had touched my lips thy iniquity is taken away and thy sin is purged so look at what it says now this is where this is where i'm going to verse 8 I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Who will what? Everybody. Who will what? 
go for us. There are seats. God is looking for warriors. Jesus wept. He says the laborers, the harvest alone. Hallelujah. Jesus wept. Jesus cried. And he said, the harvest is so plenty. The laborers are few. Are you a laborer in the kingdom? Have you been anointed to labor in the kingdom? Or are you known to labor your labor in the kingdom? Does it outweigh your labor in the corporate world? Or your labor in the corporate world? for man at ways your labor for the kingdom and for God himself if God was to live to we how you labor for man and how you labor for God do you put much hard work in laboring for man as compared to laboring for God how do you labor for God do you labor with all passion do you labor with all of your heart? Or do you labor based on how much they pay you? Do you have, do you rate the way you labor for God and the way you labor for the kingdom? Do you rate it the same way? Do they carry the same value in your heart? Don't forget, Jesus has so much seats in heaven. There's so much departments open in the kingdom and is looking for people to fill in the gap fill in the gap fill in the gap fill in the gap you must be a man or a woman that's able to occupy if god gives you an unusual talent use it for the kingdom use it for the kingdom if you use it for secular make sure that your worth in the kingdom pays far make sure you invest more of your wealth in the kingdom than of the world the world gives you an earthly reward but the kingdom gives you an eternal reward don't forget it gives you an eternal reward that causes even your children your children's children children to inherit to prosper because of your good works Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Hey, Kolo Doro, Shondo Gozom Brodos. Ele Brende Lebeke Pia Parados. I bless the Lord at all times, and His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody, hallelujah. Is somebody blessed blessed today? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Well, thank God for everyone today. Thank God for your love, your kindness. Thank God for those who send their tithes and their offering. I bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I pray in the name of Jesus you will never lack. Your pockets will never run dry from today. I decree for all those in the name of Jesus, God will uphold you from falling. I decree that every attempt of the devil to manipulate, to manipulate or to influence your finances, I destroy by the power and the blood of Jesus. I decree in the name that is above every other name that the hand of God will single-handedly pick you out. Just like the boy who gave fishes and bread, into the kingdom and god multiplied his finances i decree and i prophesy may god begin to multiply your resources as god as peter came to a place he needed to pay taxes and he was out of money jesus began to perform a miracle go get the fish i decree you pay your tithe into the kingdom every fish 
every fish every fish has been ordained to carry your assignment every fish has been ordained to release prosperity for your life i decree let that fish appear let your helpers appear in the name of jesus christ i decree that the account of the lord raise you up i decree that every door closed against you be open now from today may you be blessed at your work going out be blessed your children be blessed may you be fruitful in every area of your life in the name of jesus christ thank you holy spirit that you are valuable before the kingdom and you shall be the head and not the tail in jesus name we pray your heart will never lack again abundance is your portion it shall reign over you it shall reign over your family you are the head and not the tail you are blessed you are blessed in jesus name amen 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 i want to thank god for everyone today thank you so much amen hallelujah follow amen. us up please amen how many of you will say you know what you know pastor i'm gonna to go to the africa listen to me amen amen, amen. can you hear me amen. can you hear me you hear me very well now i'm gonna say it now i'm gonna mute it so you understand me how many of you will say you know what pastor give me the number of the prayer line i want to go make flyer or i want to sit down in my in my phone book and i want to send a prayer line to everybody i want to send a prayer line to different people i want to invite them so that they can be blessed because i have to start adding people to the kingdom now i want to print flyers i want to send it to my my co-workers i want to publicize the prayer line so to be a blessing amen how many of you feel like you want to do that hallelujah amen hallelujah how many of you say i want to invite at least five people to the prayer line amen. hallelujah i'm not getting amen here anybody here amen. hallelujah amen. amen please when you leave the prayer line you can go to kinkos you can go to anywhere and print it out amen just print it out and says hey brother this is a powerful prayer line i want you to be a blessing the curse you are going through your family will be broken join us it's very very powerful my brother come our pastor needs help come 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 and assist hallelujah come and be a blessing to the prayer line are you hearing me amen uh pastor this sister is going through something into can we pray for her she's going through stuff i uh, please 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 help us help her hallelujah this is how connection this is how we move the kingdom and god will be so happy listen to me there were there were about four guys who broke the house there were four guys who broke the roof of the house and let down this bro brother so that jesus might touch the boy and this we don't know who owns that house but the bible says that guy got healed amen he began to walk why because there were four guys who were who loved this brother and opened the roof so that this brother will live again by the intervention there are people who are suffering in your life extend a prayer line to them beg them to come and when they receive their miracle god will write your name as an asset not a liability to the kingdom somebody say amen Amen. Well, let's share the grace and there we go. Yeah? Can you put the number? Can you put the number? The original number. Not uh I mean the original numbers to call for the for the uh, prayer line? Yes. Not not the pin, not the pin. Not the five nine the nine five two, that's the pin. But the the original number. The nine five two? No, it's not a pin. That's the number. That's the phone number. Yeah, but then the number you have to call first before you enter that pin. No, no, that's the phone number. There's no, they, we don't have no pin number. There's no pin for the prayer line. There's no pin for the prayer line number. Because what, what I do is I call the number. Yeah, that, because you are calling from me international. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. No yes, problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have the number. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well, blessings now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any other question before we go? <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Okay. Then let's 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 share the grace before we go. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely. 
God's goodness, God's mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I decree your life is, shall prosper from glory to glory. I decree you shall be the head and not the tail. I decree fullness of joy upon you. I decree more favor upon your life. I decree you are blessed. Experience the pleasures of God. Experience the favor of God and the blessings of the Almighty rest upon you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Everybody said amen. 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 All right. Love you guys now. Bye bye now. Blessings now. Good morning, everyone. Bye bye. Goodbye. Love you guys. Bye bye.